G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, and this is a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. You may remember from a previous video, I brought 10 of these for $5 each. Uh, I got four working drives that were perfectly okay, three that are a little bit questionable, which are probably usable, and three that were completely dead. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to use one of these drives and we're going to clone my primary hard drive, effectively making this a bootable drive, uh, which is a effectively an exact clone of uh, the uh, machine you can see behind me. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into a cradle that I've got, and then we're going to begin cloning. So let's go plug that in. So that hard drive is up and running. It won't appear in my list of hard drives in Explorer because there's no file system on it presently. And we actually don't want one. So um, effectively we're wanting to back up my C drive, which you can see is half a terabyte. And we're backing up to one terabyte drive, so there's be plenty of uh, space available. So we can take a look at the hard drives that are in my machine by going into create and format hard disk partitions. And this can take a wee while to uh, find all the drives in the machine. Uh, often they, they need to, if you've got some mechanical hard drives, they can uh, require spinning up before it can uh, determine what they are. And it can just take, take a while. So uh, let's uh, leave that to find all my drives. Okay, and there we go. Let's just move that to the top of that. And we see we've got a, a drive that is completely unallocated. So what we're going to do is we're going to clone my C drive. In fact, we'll probably do all of these petitions, ignoring this one, um, because as you can see, the, it's a two terabyte NVMe drive. And that's obviously not going to fit. So we'll just ignore this petition on the drive, which contains my Steam folder and rendered videos and down, well, various other bits and pieces. So to clone to clone this drive, we're going to use a product called Macrium Reflect. Which is um, this version is free. They have commercial versions. I believe they're discontinuing the free version. So this might not be available. But there are many tools that you can use to clone a hard drive, uh, and I've used lots in the past, but uh, we're going to use this one for now. And so what we want to do is clone this drive. Here's my primary partition, my C drive, and I'm going to clone this disk. And we're going to clone it to disk 6, which is the very empty one terabyte drive. And I'm going to deselect the scratch partition and select copy partitions. And I'm just going to do an exact uh, copy. There's also the option to shrink or fit if the drive is actually smaller. You can actually still, still do this if you've got uh, enough free space available to ignore. But we're just doing an exact copy. Yeah, yes. Uh, and go next. We don't want to schedule this, this clone, and finish. Don't want to save, and we'll run it now. So this is going to take a while to do. My NVMe drive can read at 7,000 megabytes per second, and the mechanical hard drive can write at probably about 100 megabytes a second. So the slight disparity in performance there. So we'll probably just leave this to go, and then once it's done, we'll come back and have a look, and then we'll pull it out and we'll try and boot a different computer from the mechanical drive. So we'll leave this to keep going, and I'll see you back here shortly. So that has now finished, and it took 52 minutes, and a quick calculation uh, yields that about 80-ish um, megabytes per second, 80-85, something like that. 
So I'm now going to disconnect that and we can then plug that into a different machine and try and boot it. Now it's come up as an F drive uh, but uh, I'm going to uh, unplug that and that will disappear. So in fact if I there's the F drive Okay, and that F drive is now uh, of course gone and there is the hard drive it's uh, a little bit warm um, but not particularly hot and definitely needs a clean but uh, so that is now a bootable copy in theory we'll find out shortly of um, my C drive in my main uh, computer so let's go try it out this is the uh, computer we want to install the hard drive into. It's an Intel Xeon, which is quite different from the AMD platform that we are, that the hard drive was copied from. So um, let's open the back panel up and uh, install the hard drive. So let's take this back panel off. I have to reach around from this side. It's a bit of a tight spot here. And Thank goodness for um, captured screws. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll unplug the power from the SATA hard drive, SSD, and plug this in here. Like so, and I'll use the set of cable, spare one. And plug it in. And we can just leave that balanced on its side, like so. Okay. So let's power this thing on and see how it goes. Okay, so we're just in the BIOS, and I need to make one change, and that's uh, our boot option one is, I think, the boot manager. Um, save and exit, and hopefully it'll come up and find it as a boot device, which it didn't previously. This is looking more promising. Okay, and we've got the uh, Windows um, wait icon operating. So now we just have to wait and wait and wait until we boot from a <laughs> boot Windows 11 from a mechanical hard drive, an old mechanical hard drive. So uh, I will just um, probably speed things up a little bit so you don't have to watch it in its entirety. And I'll set a clock going or something like that. Uh, so we know how long it takes. Um, it is probably going to take a while. So uh, let's uh, leave that to boot. Not sure what happened there. The, of course, architecture between the old machine and the new machine, going from an AMD-based system to an Intel-based system, um, that can cause problems, different motherboard chipsets and CPUs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the um, Windows can get conf quite confused, but Windows 11 is usually pretty good and will usually work. So, um, well, this looks a little bit more promising. We'll, um, I guess, carry on waiting. Oh, signs of life. 
Um, so obviously it's decided to do some sort of update. Perhaps I had um, cloned my hard drive after an up update had been applied. Or it's decided the change of hardware necessitates some sort of update. <coughs> but we are 93% there, so um, all is looking good. Well, it's been uh, more than 25 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go and do something else while <laughs> this is still going. Um, I will check back shortly. Okay. Um, okay, it's been going for more than half an hour. I think we'll call this a failure. Um, I have done this in the past, it has worked. And, um, but this time, uh, for whatever reason, uh, probably um, some update that's happened. Um, I should probably reboot my computer more often. Um, it's uh, failed to, to update. So um, yes, let's, let's call this failure. It, it, is, it is a possibility for it to work. And if I plug the, the hard drive, into the same machine, I'm sure it would be uh, absolutely fine. So, um, but do you want to use a mechanical dri drive to run Windows from? Um, certainly not one from 2016. Uh, it is uh, extremely painful to boot. Um, it's probably at least five minutes to boot uh, if um, everything was going correctly, but it didn't. So um, I'm gonna call this a not a success. So it's like an hour or so later, um, and I can uh, now attempt to log in. So the cloning was success, the booting was success. Um, I did check my computer. There wasn't, there is an update pending, so it's going to need to do that when it reboots. Um, this mechanical hard drive, uh, not up to the up to scratch, really, <laughs> in, in being able to um, apply an update. So um, this is also going to take a while. Uh, I'm not going to make you uh, suffer through it. I'm going to end the video here. Um, you do not want to be using a mechanical hard drive, uh, but it is sufficient. Um, I mean, I could boot from another machine and use and clone this drive, you know, boot from a faster hard drive and then clone the mechanical drive to a proper um, NVMe drive or something like that uh, that I would use. But um, yeah, so that, that is thinking about logging in, but um, I think this video is over. I hope you found it useful. Um, yeah, at this point, if my NVMe drive had failed, I would probably clone um, this drive to uh, something a lot faster. So thanks for watching. I'm Alistair. Um, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, thanks for watching.